Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is on simplifying fractions, but this time we're going to do it a cool way uh, by factoring to primes. Um, prime numbers are numbers with factors of only one and itself. Uh, for example, two, the only way to multiply to get two would be one times two. You could switch them, but the numbers are still going to be one times two. You want to remember that all numbers have a factor of one. We'll get to that on the last problem. And that the first seven prime numbers, you probably want to memorize. It's not that hard to do. And if you like multiplication, this is a great way. Our first seven primes are two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, and 17. Again, two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, and 17. So our steps today is that we're going to factor the numerator which is the top number. Then we're going to factor the denominator to primes, which is the bottom. Then we're going to cancel out the factors, and we'll show it on the models also. Let's just jump right in. Simplify the fractions to lowest terms, and today we're going to be using factoring. So the eight, I wrote the factors over here. Your factors, prime factors of eight are two times two times two. Do you notice that all these twos, do you see how they're prime numbers? So. 8 would prime factor out to 2 times 2 times 2. The 12 factors out to 2 times 2 is 4, right? Times 3 is 12. Do you see how your 2s and your 3s are prime numbers? So this is factored out to prime numbers. So 2 times 2 times 3. Then our last step is to cancel out like factors. So for example, I see two times two, and I also see two times two, so these are going to cancel out. I'm not going to cancel out this two because there's not another two here. So notice that our equivalent fraction is two thirds. In other words, eight twelfths simplifies to two thirds, and what we did is we used uh, prime factoring. On the model, you can see that this here is our 8 twelfths, and this here is our 2 thirds, and they are equivalent. And remember, when we simplify fractions, the numbers change, but the size, if we can get that lined up, See how the green section is the same size? So the size uh, is the same, but you'll notice that our numbers in our simplified fraction are getting smaller. Let's try another example. 6 fifteenths, and we're going to um, factor to primes. Let's start with our top. 6 would be 2 times 3. Notice again that these are prime numbers. And then 15 would be three times five. Notice also that three and five are both primes. In other words, three times five is 15. Our step is to cancel out like factors. Well, I see that the three are like, so I cross those out. That leaves two fifths. So in other words, six fifteenths simplifies to two fifths and we're showing that here, 6 fifteenths would be equivalent to 2 fifths on that side, using a uh, factoring to primes way of simplifying fractions. Let's try 10 24ths. We're going to simplify the fraction to lowest terms using our strategy of factoring to primes. 10, the prime factors are 2 times 5. Again, see how there's a 2 and a 5? So they have to be prime numbers, which is why you want to know those numbers, okay? 24 would be 2 times 2 is 4, right? Times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Notice we're using all 2s and 3s. Those are all prime numbers. 2. And if you're good at multiplication, you can go pretty fast with this. I kind of like this way of doing it. We're going to cancel out. I'm only canceling out that. So what we have here is we have our five left over and then two times two is four, right? Times three is 12. So 10 24ths will simplify to five 
twelfths using our strategy of factoring to primes. And again, we're showing that model right here that you can see that it's the exact same size, but we have lower uh, numerators and denominators. Let's try one more. Uh, 4 twelfths, we're going to simplify using our factoring strategy. 4 would just be 2 times 2. Notice that 2 is our, uh, our prime numbers. 12 would be 2 times 2 is 4 times 3. Once again, we are using all primes. Now we're going to cancel out. I'm seeing the 2 times 2 is 3. So this is interesting because, you know, what goes up there? Well, remember up at the beginning of the lesson, we said that all numbers have a factor of 1. We just don't usually show that, but you could really say that it's 2 times 2 times 1. But you could actually show times 1 times 1 forever. So we don't usually show that, but we know that all numbers have a factor of 1. So 4 twelfths simplifies to one-third, and we're showing that uh, right here. Okay, everybody, hope this was helpful today, and uh, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.